thanks for thank you coming and joining me. Um, let's see. Uh, dead or alive? Who would you like to face? It could be uh, WCW, uh, WWE, NWA, or some else in the back of you. Uh, one person that I would really love to step in the ring with is actually Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy right. was the first ever, my first ever favorite wrestler. I can see it though, yeah. because you know, we just watch your match here evolve, and um, you're very high flying. Yeah. So I, I can see that. Now, do you follow Matt Hardy on, on social media? With I do. do you follow Matt Hardy? Um, Let me ask you this, because I, I, I used to be, I'm, I'm still a fan, but now I, I see that it's, when he was in Simon WWE, he was doing this stuff in yeah, that. Really the whole I feel like it was a lot better yeah. than it is now. He's trying to bring something back that it's just gone. See, with, with that, um, with, 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 Matt, with Matt and Jeff, like Jeff was always getting the spotlight like, because of the, you know, Daredevil high yeah. and stuff. And then Matt finally got his own life with the new, you know, um, the, the new uh, gimmick and stuff like that. So when he started getting the spotlight and kind of getting his own, you know, persona and old character and stuff like that, it really made me happy to see him out there. So that's one person I would love to wrestle. Yeah. Growing up, was there any rival? Uh, I mean, my favorite one, or the one that stood up to me the most, was again Brian Triple H. Because okay, that, that was pretty recent. That was what 2014. Uh, 14 was it? 13, 14. 13, because it's like WrestleMania 30. I remember that. Okay. So with Jay and Brian, um, I, I'm not the tallest. I'm not the biggest. I was gonna say, yeah, you guys can relate because you're, you're short. Like yeah, and he really made it. He made me believe that I could be somebody because of. You know, how you look, the size, you know, where it came from, it just shows that no matter how hard you work, you can achieve anything. Now, that brings me to my next question is, what's the obstacle stop of being a Even even that pretty much black holes. Yeah. Uh, what's what's the hardest thing you, you see? Well, for a lot of guys, they, they don't want to accept that they're small. So um, one of the obstacles was a lot of guys would do a lot of powerhouse moves or a lot of stuff. But for me, I was always good at being athletic, being acrobatic. So um, if you are small and you're good at that, I would say stick with it. But a lot of guys just feel like there's nothing for them to do because they're so small. But you gotta find, you just gotta find your own way and find what makes you click and what what connects you to the to the audience. Yeah. Another question too. Uh, so I, I'm not a huge follower of Evolve. So let me keep shed some light. Yeah. Now, Evolve is like the farm, farm, farming. See, what happened was, Evolve was his own thing. They got in contact with the WWE. Um, I think it, I think it was around the Cruiserweight Classic. Um, they were using a lot of their guys. And so I think that kind of opened the door between Evolve and, you know, the WWE. And now, after the years gone by, they started giving us more wrestlers. Um, so is that, is that, is that kind of make you nervous that you have to, every match now is you have to make sure you, you're there to impress the music and who's really watching? No, I actually go out there and do whatever I normally do, so that way if something needs to be fixed or something wrong, I'll know it. So I'm always getting critiques and feedback. Not saying that I go out there and do a bad job, but I go out there, I do what I think is right, and they, if anyone has something to say, I should change it, then I'll get the feedback instead of, them telling me before, so you don't have to learn that way. I'm, I'm more of a make a mistake and learn after kind of person. All right, let me ask you this. Where do you see yourself in like four or five years? Are you, uh, I mean, are you planning to like, you know, plateau? So, and I'll be honest with you, my goal is in the WWE. That's where I want to be. That's what I want to do. I'll say it right now. My goal right now is to get signed to... And you also have to open up the door for I mean, yeah, but for me, what I grew up watching was WWE. That's where I wanted to go. All these other promotions were cool, but for me, for my my, my grandma, Big Mike Wrestling, the guy that you want to do up here coming came to see me, that was the promotion. That was the company that we saw. That was the first company that I went to. I mean, you know, live show I went to. So I want to go there, and that, I think that's where my story is. That is the WWE. Your your respect, your decisions. They do. They do. Because I didn't take no for an answer when they was like, oh, you're too small, or you gotta work out, or you gotta go to training, or you gotta do this and do that. I did all that. That was my next question I was gonna ask you, training-wise. Um, what, like, you have a regiment? I mean, is there like, are you, are you a strict diet? Are you a like, So, I am now, because I've been hearing a lot of, um, just a lot, a lot of feedback from when I did NXT on TV, uh, like, December 4th or December 8th, one of the two. Um, 
they were just, you know, some guys were just telling me, you know, add, add a little size to you, add a little, you know, definition. So now I have a, I have a diet that I'm working on now, so it's not finished. You know, you gotta go through the process of what works and what doesn't work. So, which I'm trying not to do things. And the last question, what would you say to somebody out there that's trying to be uh, in the present business, trying to start out, I mean, training or, you know, what would you say to them? So, it is what I say is, no matter how much, no matter how much time you feel like you've wasted, there's always time to go out there and try and achieve, to make your dreams come true. I mean, they really do come true because I'm one of the people whose dreams have come true. Um, you got to believe in yourself. That's the main thing because when it was my turn to get the confidence to take that leap into training, I didn't have anybody telling me that I should do it, that they support me. I kind of had to be that person for myself. So once you get confidence in yourself and you tell yourself that this is what you want to do and you're going to be good at it, that'll help you a long way. I, I know. Two things off the top. I, you know, I have a lot more, but you know, it's only so, so growing up, who were some influences? It could be a family member or it could be uh, one of the idolized girls, like a wrestler, a movie star, or somebody. So uh, one of the one celebrity that I looked up to was Terry Crews. Um, Terry Crews was the guy who he's a very yeah he's an action star slash comic. Yeah, but you you see him as this big, strong, tough guy. You know, he's a fan. He's a good father, and then he opens up about stuff that's happened to him to show you that you're not too big or bad to let someone know like, hey, something has happened to me. So I, I look up to that. Um, my grandfather, who was a very, a really, a really good stand-up guy, a good father to his son, good grandfather to me. Um, that's why I got the name Leon Ruffon. That's my grandfather's name. He was somebody that I looked up to, uh, my dad. Um, because he was doing his rap thing growing up and he never gave up. But when we moved, things have to get taken, you know, on a back burner to take up the family. So those three, I would say, the guys that I look up to. Well, I'm glad you took your time to talk to us and thank you, man.